Well, the iPhone sure has made inroads into the smartphone market, but who's coming up next? Perhaps it's Google. To uh, talk about the uh, impending G phone, or the rumored G phone, we've got Matthew Ingram from The Globe and Mail. Thanks for joining us, Matthew. Thanks for having me, Mike. The G phone, uh, I've been hearing lots of speculation. You know, it's coming out next week, next month, not till uh, next year. Well, what's, what's the lowdown? Well, I guess we've, we've heard these rumors for, uh, I guess, the past probably six months or so, maybe more, um, but they've, they've accelerated a lot in the last little while, partly because the Wall Street Journal wrote a story in August saying uh, that it had talked to sources uh, in Silicon Valley. They had actually seen prototypes of this phone. Uh, it described talks that Google was having with AT&T and Verizon and a bunch of other carriers. Um, so it kind of put some, uh, some meat on the bones, as it were. There were also a couple of, of more reports more recently, um, people talking to sources who, again, had seen actual working prototypes of a phone Google was working on um, using a Java-based operating system, a whole bunch of details about how this phone would work. Um, so that's really kind of stoked the, the fires as far as the rumors are concerned. Whether it actually comes to pass or not, I think, is still a big question mark. Why would a search engine get into making uh, cell phone handsets? Well, that's a good question. And I think one, one part of the answer, if you believe that they are doing this, is that Google is no longer and hasn't been for some time a search company. Their primary business is advertising. Uh, and what they do is search-related advertising. So they're the kings of that market. <clears throat> so the idea is um, if advertising is their goal, um, they need to be wherever people are and wherever content is that you can put ads against. And obviously, mobile is exploding. Um, that does seem like a natural place for an advertising-based company to go. The question is whether you need to actually create your own device and create your own software, or whether you just need to do deals with phone companies like Google is already doing to put your existing applications on there, like Gmail or Google Maps or whatever. Well, it is interesting. I, I, you know, myself, I, I at this point can't see a, a huge compelling reason to want to get uh, a G phone if it if uh, it is true or not. Um, you know, I, I would be concerned about this thing pushing me advertising all the time because that's, uh, like you said, what Google does. Well, and 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 that's also pretty much the only thing they can bring to the table. It seems to me, if you look at something like the iPhone, um, it's got a tremendous range of features. It's it's nice to look at. It's it's relatively easy to use. The big problem is it's, it's hugely expensive, although they've cut prices um, they just announced the other day. But the, the big um, weak point, I think, for a lot of the carriers and a lot of the phone makers is it still costs a lot of money to get a phone that does all those things. The, the Wall Street Journal described, I think it was that story, described uh, a possible model for Google where they would either give the phone away to the carriers or they would effectively give it to them extremely cheaply and then subsidize the cost through advertising. So if you can imagine, you know, sort of younger users uh, can't afford a, an expensive phone, maybe they'd be willing to take a phone that Google came out with that had all these Google apps on it to begin with, that was easy to use, and that was either cheap or free. Well, that'll bring up a, an interesting thing then with uh, the carriers. The carriers are obviously trying to find new ways to generate revenue from their customers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to sell them uh, ring, uh, ringtunes, uh, TV shows, video, what have you. Uh, yeah. How do you think they'll react to um, um, Google making tons of money on their, f on, on their network? Well, I think they would obviously be asking for a fairly substantial chunk of that revenue if Google were to make that kind of money. Um, and I think the biggest issue, you know, the biggest thing that keeps companies out of the mobile business and one of the, the issues that Apple had even before it came out with the iPhone is it's just so difficult to deal with the sort of entrenched, you know, almost monopoly companies that control the mobile phone business. They, they have the market pretty much where they want it. They're making lots of money, most of them. Um, they don't see any reason to, you know, fix it if it isn't broken. And so if someone comes along and says, hey, we've got this great new model, um, they're going to be asking, well, what's in it for us? Well, uh, you know, we've got the iPhone, the G phone. Uh, why not an M phone for Matthew and Mike? Sure, yeah, we come out with our own line. Have to uh, get a little bit of, money, a bit of money to start that one up. Well, I want to thank you for joining us, Matthew. Great, thanks for having me, Mike.
That was Matthew Ingram from The Globe and Mail. You can check out more of his articles and blogging at globetechnology.com.